Let me show you how you can easily bend any object around any spherical or rounded surface in Blender with this cool trick. Here we have this really cool, simple, round type of window, stylized window that I just made for this tutorial and we will bend it around the sphere like you saw at the beginning. By the way, if you want to download this model, actually the project file for this tutorial, you can download it on the link down there in the description, it's on my Patreon and check it out there. Okay, so what I want to do, I will press G and move it on Y axis right there. And by the way, you can see here what I'm pressing on a keyboard in my mouse gestures. And I will go and create a sphere. Shift A, go to Mesh and go to UV Sphere. I will make it a little bit bigger, pressing S and move the mouse and maybe a little bit bigger and that's it. And now I will press Control and 2 to add a subdivision surface modifier with levels of viewport 2. Okay, and right click and Shade Smooth just to have really simple, nice, smooth sphere. All right, so this is a 3D cursor right there. I want to move the 3D cursor right on this object. So how to do it? Shift S and cursor to select it. Simple as that. Okay, so basically, if we want to transform this, uh, to bend this around the sphere, people think that we can use shrink wrap modifier, which is not a bad thing. We can apply shrink wrap modifier and choose the sphere as a target, but, Yes, it's bended, but everything is in one plane and it's wrong thing to do. If we have this kind of 3D object, we can change the wrap method to project and we will have better representation of, we, of what we want, but still every single pixel here is projected to the sphere. We don't want that. We can try to change things here and there, but still we will not make proper adjustment here. So I will close this, all right? And I will do a really cool trick. I will press Shift A and go and add a lattice right here. So it's a cube. I will press 1 to go to the front view and press S to make it bigger. So scale it up. And I will scale it just to be a little bit around the model. Just a little bit bigger than the model. That's perfect. Now, while this is selected, we will go here to lattice data. And we will play with the resolution. So we'll go with the U about 10. So basically subdividing this 10 with the V, we will go one because we want this to be just one dimensional plane to easily later project on a sphere. Probably already guess what we will do and 10 on the W. So the more the resolution we have here, the more dense mesh of the lattice we have, we have more uh, option to move this and uh, wrap around objects. So I will show you really quickly what I mean by that. So I'll press 3 to go to the side view and press G and move it on Y axis just to the edge of the model here, the window. Perfect. Now select the window, shift select the lattice and press Control P in order to parent it. So we will parent not the object but object with keep transform. Perfect. And now what this means, means that if we select the lattice and move it, we will move it with that. Okay, now let's go to the object and add a lattice modifier. So go to the modifier, add lattice and select this lattice as an object. Perfect. And now what we did, if we go here to the edit mode and select some of these vertices, we can press G and move it and you can see this is moving like that. This will help us to perfectly bend the window around any spherical or round type of another object. Okay, let's go back to the object. And now what we will do, probably you're guessing, we will select the lattice and go and add a shrink wrap modifier to that and lattice wrap around the sphere. So select target and then select the sphere and voila, this is it really cool and simple thing. We can also go from nearest surface point to project and choose the Y axis, the green one. Okay, and go with positive and negative and this is it. Also, what we can do, we can select the sphere and press Shift S and then again cursor to select it. So we have cursor here on the 3D sphere and we can go right here, let me show you, and transform pivot point around 3D cursor. This will help us to, if we select back lattice here, if we want to rotate this around the sphere, press R twice, we can easily do this. See, really easily rotate and do that. In case we have different type of um, deformation on a sphere, so let's press S, X 
and squish it down, we can see that the window is following that. Perfect, because of this shrink wrap modifier applied on our lattice. This is too big for this situation, so we'll just small uh, scale it a little bit down, and this is it. Also, if we now rotate this, it will perfectly follow the sphere. Actually, this type of egg, let's put it that at, the, at the top. So you can see how easily you can wrap any object around any spherical or rounded surface using the lattice and shrink wrap modifier in this combination that I did here. Also, if you want, you can download this project file. Again, link is down there in the description. And also, if you want to know more tricks about how to use, for example, tissue modifier in Blender to create complex objects really fast and really easily, check out this video right here and see you there. Bye bye.